procedure. The ablation phase of the procedure is finished. Now we start the remapping. But I think we should note that this is a remote procedure. And uh, I want to continue the procedure staying uh, in the teaching room and to share with the audience the procedure. Starting the remap of this procedure. Filippo, are you ready? I want to verify the continuity of the line. The remap phase assesses the acute electrophysiological modifications. As previously stated, the endpoint of this approach is the voltage abatement greater than 90% on the ablation lines and inside the ablation area. On the Carto screen, you can see the color-coded scale. Red indicates the lowest voltage, whereas violet indicates the highest voltage. The purpose of this phase is to make sure that the pulmonary veins are completely electrically isolated and that the lines of ablation are continuous and complete. To achieve this, we perform a point-by-point -point evaluation of the voltages on the ablation lines and inside the ablation areas. The possibility of performing high-density mapping on an accurate anatomical reconstruction avoids the biases in electrical evolution due to the common malpositioning of circular multi-electrode mapping catheters. A unique feature of this navigation system is the possibility to store the spatial coordinates of multiple points together with their own positioning vectors. With this method, it is thus possible to re-navigate with unparalleled precision to the same points before and after ablation, establishing with absolute anatomical precision the electrophysiological modifications induced. The procedure is considered successfully completed only when all the required endpoints are fully met. Any electrical activity persisting inside the ablation lines or onto the lines detected during this phase is ablated. As you can see, in this map there is no detectable electrical activity in the target regions, as shown by the voltage map, and the procedure is considered successfully performed. <laughs>